Okay, so sometimes you may need to store electrical charge and then discharge it. Uh, we could use a device called a capacitor for that. Uh, it basically has two parallel plates. Uh, one plate gets positive charge, one gets negative, and then you can discharge it. Uh, we are going to actually make a capacitor, but this is a special kind called a Leyden jar. Uh, so instead of two plates, I'm going to use one of the plates as aluminum foil, and then the other as salt water. Uh, so I've already salted this water, but you, you can mix in some salt with water. It doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to make it a conductor. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and make this and then see how it works. I want to take the aluminum foil and wrap around the outside of the cup. Uh, you could cut this so it fits exactly, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna get some tape here. So I can tape it, it doesn't have to be pretty. Just a little bit of tape will work right now. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and then tape it right there. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what makes this thing so awesome. Wrapped around, I guess I need another piece of tape. There. Okay, now I have all this stuff on the end. You could either cut that off. It doesn't, honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do it like that. There. Okay, so I'm done with the salt. Okay, so now I have the one part of the capacitor is this outside. Now the salt water is going to be the inside. I'm going to pour that in there. Now I need something to connect to the water. So let's take another piece of tape. I'm going to put it over the top. And this tape does not conduct electricity. Very few tapes do, so we're okay. Now I have our favorite paper clip. You could use anything. It could be a nail, any metal thing. I'm just going to straighten this out. And now I'm going to poke it. Oops. I'm going to poke it through here so that it sticks into the water. But that part of it sticks out. I put a little bend in there so it wouldn't fall through. There. I am almost done. So now if I charge up this, then it will charge up the whole thing. But I need a way to get charge onto the outside plate, and so I have to connect this to ground. Okay, So I have a wire here that's hooked up to a, a, water, a water faucet or anything like that would work as a ground. And I'm going to clip that to my aluminum foil. And now I'm going to charge it up. Now how do you charge this up? The same way you charge up anything, uh, by rubbing. I have here a PVC pipe. It turns out if you take PVC pipe and paper and rub it, it gets char charged up and then I can just touch that little paper clip and I can do it several times, I mean a whole bunch of times, and it'll charge up. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to cheat. I have this device that will also charge it up. Okay, charged up. Now let's see if we can see a spark. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect my wire. Now I'm going to bring this wire to the spark to the paper clip so it can discharge through itself. Let's see if we can see a spark. Did you see it? That was it. Simple capacitor, Leyden jar.